Hello guys! Welcome back to Walls and Gromit, Chapter 3, Muzzled. So, I should probably have... do a little bit of explanation uh, before we actually dive in there. Uh, as you can see, no continue, considering these game, this game... Well, this game, can you really see that as game? It's one game of four chapters, so... I don't know. Whatever. They all record the same, so... No need to do any testing, so everything you will see is new to me, so that, that should be good. And bad. But yeah, it's been like... I don't know, it's maybe half a year ago since I last recorded a Walls and Gromit episode. Had some hardware issues in between. And then I started some other... Well... I have a whole bunch of uh, projects and finish them, so I always wanted to, you know, continue and finish Walls and Gromit, because these games have been wonderful so far, so yeah, I just never really got around to it, but the time is in the time is now, obviously, because you're watching this, so let's just get in there. I'm really excited to actually uh play more Walls and Gromit. It's yeah, these games are really fun, so I also should note that uh, after Chapter 2, I did actually get around to watching all the movies, uh, all, all the Walls and Gromit movies, and yeah, as I said, it's been a while, but I should get a bit more references now, I think. Then again, I'm forgetful, so I might just go, well, I kind of recognize that from somewhere, but I can't really place it, so that's probably me. But yeah, new game. Let's get in there. Uh, I think I'm fine with the tutorial. It's an adventure game. I played the previous two, so... Not that I remember the controls, but I'll work it out. Oh, this music. Missed it. Should do it, lad. Our brand new Infini flavor ice cream makers ready for business. Patent pending, of course. Its infrared taste analyzer can sample any flavor and turn it into a delicious ice cream. What do you say, Gromit? Fancy pushing the button on our inaugural batch? Wensleydale cream, anyone? Get it churn, lad. Just in time to be road tested in front of paying customers at the fair this weekend. And all in a good cause, hmm? Miss Flit says it's to raise money to rebuild the dog shelter. The poor pups have been homeless for too long. Imagine if you had no place to call home sweet kennel from it. Grumman understands. Hmm. Must be the breeze. Miss Flit says the strays have been making mischief all over town. On Tuesday, Mrs. Gabbley's shop was terrorized by a gang of terriers. No doubt they'll come to heel once they've a proper roof over their heads. I'm sure everyone will give generously at the fair to build them a new home. I can't be the only dog lover in town. Thank you, Laura Gromit, wild dogs! Stray scoundrels! Mangy good for nothing mongrels mangling me machine! They must be some of the escapees! Oh no! Oi, get off! Me crank! Oi! Me lever! The flavor engraver! The brains of our custom flavor scanner lad! It's been scrambled! The four legged fiends! What's he trying I'm to sorry, do? lad, but this is some serious damage. I suppose it's nothing that can't be fixed. I'll tinker with the flavor engraver if you track down our filched crank and our lifted lever. And this cute one's going to need to be calmed down as well. Mind you, it'll take a month of ice cream Sundays to put things right if I can't patch things up. 
You've got to get them in order if we're going to have the Infini flavor ready for the fair this weekend. Come on, lad, you're a dog. You can reason with them. All that hard work fouled up by a few rogue whippets. Pick up. Oh, sure. A bunny. Be safe, eh? All right. Let's see now. All right, that that. I remember the shift button, which is the inventory. All right, let's see now. Is there anything I can inspect? All right, do it. Um, sure. Careful, Gromit. The Infini flavor motor is volatile without its crank. Oh boy. Huh. Well, there's one down for the count, I guess. <laughs> Yoink. Oh yeah. Now scram. Engage. Yeah, that's more like it. I guess not. No, Gram Gramit's not really uh, up for that, I guess. So what's with that one? What does he want? What do you want, my boy? I think he we're wants the bunny. We're going to have to calm that one down if we're ever going to roll this machine out of here. I'd say give him the uh, the bunny. I mean, he'd like that. I mean, it's a, it's a plush bunny. And his name is apparently Twitch. And that's Filcher. Alright. Here. Company. Oh, Your he's kind of cute. Your old certainly did the trick, didn't it, lad? Oh my, you used to being so attached to it. Took quite a spell to wean you off it, in fact. Now we can focus on getting this machine up and running. All right, let's see now. Can we inquire about it? Well, that's not yet. Got more important things at hand for now. Look. I'm not quite done painting the sign yet, Gromit. That's a nice shade of blue, though, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Read it. Wait, read. That I'll sign read. would be a nice finishing touch if we could get the machine back up and running. Uh, we will, eventually. Right, I guess there was uh, Any luck nothing with the left down here. Makers? Kind of. Two out of three, so... All right. Let's go up. See in the kitchen. Doubt it. Where would he be, though? Really? Backyard? Who? What's this? Um. No, I don't know. Hey! A grommet! Steady on! You can bake all the pies you want later when the gas has been mended! <laughs> All right, I, I kind of expected. Well, when I would hover over it, it would actually read that because, you know, if I wasn't playing at a high resolution like this, I probably would have had some trouble reading that. I think so. Let's open the uh, the closet. Maybe he's hiding. No. Well, we need to get a bit more stock in, obviously. We can bake, really. Hmm, not yet, obviously. Open the cupboard. Not that he's going to be in there, but... Can I open the other ones? No, I can just close it again. Is he hiding in there? No, he's not. Alright, let's uh, check the backyard. That's something where a dog would be. Right? Oh, yes. Let me guess, I have to get him a, a replace... Wait, what? No! You... you little terror! Oh, oh. Alright. Ah, did you let 
the dogs out. This mangy whippet is is ravaging my roses. Came hurtling out of your master's house with some sort of bone in its mouth. Hmm. Feeding the strays really is the last straw. Now he's gone underground and Lord knows what he's doing to my roots. And where's Wallace when I need him? Are there no real men left in this world to protect a woman's property? Don't just stand there. Do something. You're a dog. Can't you reason with him? Reasoning. All right, let's observe. That's where the dastardly digger went underground. Look at my petunias. 